<laughs> and now it's time for the quick and dirty. Gentlemen, hide your girlfriends because Justin Bieber is coming to a town near you. He's going to be on tour with that Call Me Maybe girl, Carly. Call Me Maybe. <laughs> which inspired oh Allie to go and harass the men of Arlington, Virginia. Oh my gosh. Oh. You guys are really hot. Hi, hey, hey, guys. You guys are cute. So Mike Studd, one of our friends, he did a music video remix of Justin Bieber's boyfriend and he basically is telling all those girls out there that he does not want to be their boyfriend. And it's really funny, but the only person that he does want to date is Kelly and Colin. Yeah, yeah, he actually did a great job and you know, I like it. It's a pump and dump song, but that does not mean that I'm a <laughs> dumpster. Holy oh. hell, have you, you have a business partner, Kelly and Collins? <laughs> She has a smut mouth. This week, the world's top douchebag has decided that he wants to try to make himself popular, and so he's hosting himself his own Google Hangout. And that douchebag is Tiger Woods. So I don't understand who would want to hang out with him at his Google Hangout, considering he's like a cheater, a liar. Think about Chris Brown, Mike Vick, cheaters. But you know who else pisses me off? Chris Brown. Because he's disgusting. And he was like at the Billboard Music Awards and he was just like up there lip syncing. Joe Jonas and Pink called him out on it. Not only is Chris Brown a lip syncer, he's a woman beater. I don't understand why anybody would want to listen to him and give him all this credit when they know he's such a liar and a cheater and a woman beater. People are stupid. We should like ban those people. I ban them. ban them. I banned them. Ban, ban, ban. ban, ban. ban. And now we talk about some smut. Not my smut, because I don't do smut, but let's we'll talk about Allie's smut. I am in love with the Fifty Shades of Grey. There are, for real, 100% millionaires in this world that like this kinky, dark shiznit. They live in D.C. and in New York. Um, the only untruth about this book is that Christian like becomes good again and is like loves his girl. That does not happen. They're all cheaters and liars, and they all stay that way, even if they're married. The reason why I love this book is because sex is fun and so are toys. I've been flipping through this and I don't see anything kinky. You know, paddles and stuff, mm -hmm. dark rooms, sex rooms. I've dated a couple billionaires and they were both kinky, actually. Like, but you know, when somebody's like cl clamp this on my nipples and like shock me, that's when I leave. I don't know if you can hear the roar of the engines outside, but that's Rolling Thunder. And if you don't know what Rolling Thunder is, it's actually a tribute to American war heroes. And President Obama welcomed Rolling Thunder to the White House. I just like them in like their hot leather. Although I think they're too hairy and they're kind of smelly. They don't smell. Do you like try motorcycles? Yes, but I do. Harley's. I've been on several. With like long hair? Leather? Um, all kinds of hair. Ew. <laughs> Did you know that you would have to walk non-stop for two hours to burn off the calories in just one can of Coca-Cola? So how many hours would you have to walk with the rum and coke? Depends on how many calories are in the rum. Oh, God. The other day, I found some really cool Obama swag. The Obama campaign, they put up this cat collar that says, I meow for Michelle. Meow. How is Romney going to outdo that? By getting a monkey. A monkey collar? So Senator Mark Rubio, Everybody wants him to run for vice president, which I totally think he should. His brother-in-law has muscles galore. It's so hot. He was in that movie, Couples Retreat. He was that, like, really pumped up, like, beef head. Marco Rubio actually has another brother. His name is Orlando. Ooh, I like Orlando. And he was busted for drug trafficking in 1987. Well, that's a deal breaker. Mm -mm. Okay. For all you fatties out there, it's summer season. So if you have a big butt and big thighs that jiggle, what you do is you take a 25 pound kettlebell and then you go over and you get like one of these big ball things and then you go up like this and you hold it right and then you have to do squat. Bam! And then you make sure they... And now it's time for the skinny bitch tip of the week, which is drink some green smoothies. Yeah, they look gross, but you know, Kendra, the Playboy model, does it. I do it too. And let me take you where you want to go. And this is something that mm. you got. It's like an orgasm in my mouth. Before we go, I just wanted to say thank you to the guy who wrote in and said he'd like to do Alley quick and do me dirty. And that's the wrap from the quick and dirty. <laughs> I was like lost my train of thought there.